Welcome back to Feast Fight Back. Today was an appointment day. I also had a challenge for snack and it was an increased day. So there was quite a lot of anxiety. It's breakfast time and I've got um, an appointment today I'm quite nervous about, um, but we'll be fine. Still sitting down to breakfast. I've got my bowl that says you've got this to keep me going. I've got my two sachets of porridge, my milk to make it all with, um, my banana. And I've got my teaspoon that says one day at a time. Um, I think we'll just take an hour at a time today, um, but I'm sure it will be good. Then I put some very cool unicorn socks on. This is my little outfit of the day. Then I had my snack in the car on the way to my appointment and I tried this protein bar and absolutely loved it. I haven't had a single Alani bar that I haven't loved, but they're just so hard to get hold of in the UK and so expensive. Then we had my appointment and came home. My appointment actually went well today. Um, it was still challenging um, and I feel quite nervous about all the changes coming up, but we managed to have a sensible conversation. Um, and I think because we thought about what we were gonna talk about going in, there wasn't many unexpected um, things thrown at me. Um, and when I did start getting overwhelmed, I just sort of said, this is overwhelming and we stopped, which was good. Um, and I think at the moment I'm really, really trying to just trust my team um, and we kind of discuss the fact that I am utterly convinced of something in my head and what I can see and um, all these changes happening to my body which maybe they're not happening as quickly as I'm seeing them and actually it's the distortion of the illness causing me to see things that aren't maybe as uh as i think they are um so we are keeping on going we've got another increase today um and then got another hot meal again tomorrow so <laughs> deep breath um and we'll just keep going through it um yeah <laughs> Just keep going. Just sitting down to lunch and I've got a hummus falafel sandwich for lunch, which mum's made for me. my afternoon snack today i'm having something that i have had for a couple of weeks and i haven't managed to have them yet um and they're really um just challenging but i came out of my appointment today and i was like i'm gonna have them today so i've got these cookie buttercups to try and i'm really anxious about it um I know I want to do it, so I'm gonna do it. These were so good, and that's mum asking me if they're good, and me going, yeah, they're good. Um, I was so scared to try them because they had things on the packet that scared me, like indulgent and stuff, but I'm glad I did it, and glad I tried them. And also there was two in a packet and I really, really struggled to have the second one as well. But I did have it because I know it's important to have the full portion. But yeah, I'd highly recommend these. If you're like me and can't stand anything nutty, but everything seems to be peanut butter filled, these are a good substitute for that. Me and mum have come out on a walk again and we've come to our local park and it's so beautiful here.
it's the end of a long day um, and I'm quite tired. It's been quite challenging today. Um, but I was, and me and mum went out this afternoon thinking about like how much has changed in the last few months. Um, and it's not been easy and I'm tired and I'm still finding it very, very difficult. But, you know, four months ago, I was on complete bed rest in hospital, being tube fed, waiting on a specialist unit. And I think when we all decided we could try me coming home, did any of us think I'd be able to do it? I don't know if I did. I don't think my parents did. I don't know if we thought it was actually gonna be possible. And it's not been easy in the last few months have not been easy. But I'm still at home. And this week we were able to start reducing the wheelchair. And you know, that's been a huge thing for me because I've been in that for months now. Um, and I'm starting to challenge the thoughts more. Um, it's still so hard and in so many ways it's harder than what it was then because I'm having to challenge it all of the time. But I'm making the next trying to do the next right thing and I think this week there's been so much change and so many things I've managed to tackle and I just have to keep going just keep going and I've got another change to my meal plan this evening and I'm hoping that next week I can start coming out of the wheelchair a little bit more. Um, and yeah, we'll just, just gotta keep going at the moment. Remind myself that hopefully one day it will all be worth it and I'll look back at this and think, thank God I held on. I think one thing that really hit me in my appointments today was how distorted my view is of where I am. Like, I understand that things could be better. <laughs> um, but for me, I'm like, well, I should be able to be doing hour long dog walks. I should be able to be at uni, um, everything like that. And I should be able to be managing more and I should be able to be better than I am. In reality is it's still so difficult and it was re I was reminded today that I'm still unwell and just because things aren't what they were four months ago doesn't mean that I am free and I'm better. I'm still battling this and I've still got a long way to go and that's why at the moment we're just taking it day by day um, and just trying to keep going actually thinking that that's that's enough for now then i had a shower and washed my hair which helped me feel a bit fresher i had my 6 p.m food and i had the increase with it and i got this gorgeous new spoon that said don't forget how strong you are and it really really helped me through the increase then at 9 p.m i had my night snack which me and mum had whilst we were watching a film which was really nice I wanted to finish off on this quote, which is one of the most reassuring things I've ever read. 